Hello sheepies, today I am going to be showing you how to tell if you have a dynamic IP or if you have a static IP. I honestly prefer dynamic, but let's get started. So first of all, you need to have two tabs open for this to work. Well, not two tabs, two, two windows, two tabs, do anything really. And now all you need to do is just type in on Google. That's right. You, all you need to do is type in. All you need to type is what is my IP. Then just load it. And yeah, there you go. So it'll tell me my public IP. And if it's not appearing on Google, and go to click on the this what is my IP or IP chicken. I don't care any of these. All you need to do is open another tab and you just type in what is my IP. Then do not hit enter. All you need to do now is go to your modem and your modem will have four or more lights telling you if you have internet, DSL, power, you know. You probably know what your modem is. If you don't, contact your service provider or look it up somewhere. Now, all right, you can turn off both. I recommend turning off both. So let's do that. And this will cut off your internet because obviously the modem and the router are needed to get internet. So I just turned off the modem. And now, you turn off the router. Next, you want to turn off, turn on both of them. And then you just wait. You just play a bit of the waiting game. So now once you're done, all you need to do is just hit enter. And now, this is my IP here, and then compare them. If they are the exact same, then you have a static IP. But if it is different, then you have a dynamic IP. So you can compare. So if it's the exact same, uh, static, different, dynamic. So that's how you find out, really. And, yeah. That's pretty much all you need to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like to see more tech tutorials. And those guys who say I'm a nerd, I'm trying to help people. So how about you call me a geek instead? Have a nice day. I'm the Sheepster. Goodbye.